Hey you guys. This is my tomato plant. Got buds all over it. There's a, a cucumber. Squash is looking great. Got buds all over it. Got squash growing. More cucumber. It's starting to grow up the trellis. More tomatoes. Tomatoes and onion. And here's my cubiculture bed. I don't know if I said that right. Put some old logs in there. We got some mulch this morning. Covered it. Cut the grass. Put the grass clippings on it. I'm gonna come back and put some more, uh, some dirt on it, and then put another thing of mulch on it. Probably tomorrow. Yep, yep. Here's some more tomatoes. They're kind of wilted looking because the heat of the day. About 80, about, about 80 degrees. The onions are seeding. Another one fell over, but it's still seeding. And the mail come in today. I got plants enough to plant two or three gardens. Uh, I got from uh, John Parker sent me some sun chokes or uh, Jerusalem artichokes, uh, a rhubarb, and two horseradish. I guess both of them are plants. Uh, comfrey. You gotta get it in the ground. And these small plants aren't named. I'm guessing that they are tobacco. He said he was gonna send me some tobacco. And this one is not labeled either. Looks like it was labeled at one time, but I clearly can't make out what it was supposed to be. I also sent me uh, some seeds. I got uh, tobacco seeds. He said that was enough, or a teaspoon was enough to plant a hundred acres. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, New Zealand spinach, uh, yard long beans, them are the three foot beans I was telling everybody about last night. He said they were real good in uh, like an Asian stir fry, uh, squash, zucchini and mix, a bunch of good stuff, some kind of melon. I don't know if it's a honeydew or I guess it's a sweet delight. Yeah, I should read that. These are, I believe, spaghetti squash seeds. There's like two of them in there. I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm, I'm not sure though. Maybe a pumpkin. Cause this is a big old seed. This is uh, spaghetti squash, which I was really wanting. These are a. Uh, Some kind of a cherry tomato. Uh, that was from John Parker. He was a very good man. Enjoy talking to him. And then Mr. Douglas Christie sent me some uh, Indian corn. That's some good color there. Here's a more of a purple or you can't really can't tell up under this awning and then a, like an amber and then uh, some pumpkin seeds he said these pumpkins were uh, were orange and where the lines were on them were white so that should be pretty cool looking maybe the seeds will be good to eat but I guess I gotta get down here and plant the seeds in now. And uh, finish up this Hugo culture bed sometime. Probably in the morning. But thanks for y'all too. And everybody else for the information to plant this stuff. And I'm gonna get out there and get it done 
put it in the ground so we can eat it or smoke it or talking about the tobacco actually I wanted that for getting my goats I'm fixing to get some more goats and it's a good wormer so that that's gonna be good I also hear that uh, it's good for bugs because the bugs will stick to the leaves I may be wrong but I think that's what I heard and uh, sunchokes are, are a flower and you can also eat them and they're very evasive from what I hear don't go through your garden and till them up <laughs> unless you're just wanting to like, make more of them from what I hear uh, what was that? what else was very evasive they said huh can't remember, maybe the tobacco. I forgot. Anyway, y'all check these guys out. Uh, Douglas Christie is, uh, I believe it's Douglas Christie, aka Woded Kelt. Kelt. And John Parker is John Parker. He ain't got no videos up yet, but he's learning his camera and he'll have some good information as soon as he can. And we'll talk at y'all later.